Hello creative people and today we are going to be reviewing the Lego Movie 2 collectible minifigure series. First thing you may notice is we have a new backdrop and new table design. We've got a light here and a light up there as well, just you know, make the make everything a bit better. I'll just adjust that a bit. There we go. Um, and this is gonna be the new permanent thing, so um yeah. And we are also joined by my friend Callum here. Say hi Callum. Hi. And um yeah, he he likes Lego a lot. He's not he doesn't know like, all the terms and stuff, so we're gonna be reviewing the same figures together. But yeah, let's get right into it with Emmett. Alright, so Emmett has a nice phone accessory that says it's playing Everything is Awesome, as you can see just there. And then he also has a coffee cup and a nice head, a nice new addition to his hairpiece. And they're attached together, so they're one thing. Yeah, so they've added the headphones onto the hairpiece of the previous ones, which is really cool. And then he just has the normal outfit, which is like a... Build a suit. Yeah, build a suit, but it's kind of like um, destroyed and stuff, you know, like, like a little chipped and everything. Um, so he's like a he's a cool figure um his back face print is just like same happy one with his eyes closed and then he's got that one at the front as well so um yeah that is emmett oh i forgot to say no back tor no back leg printing but a little bit of back torso printing no arm or side leg printing either okay now we're going to move on to oh wait callum um so what do you think about this figure how would you rate it's, this figure it's good it's got what well, out of 10 yeah out of 10 um it's very detailed as the phone, it could have just been like the normal apps, but they've made it so it's showing everything is awesome, which is the song he uses when he goes to work every day. So I would give it a, a 9, I think, just because there's chips around it a bit, which kind of like ruins the edge of and everything, so yeah. Oh, and just so you guys know, Callum has not actually yet seen the Lego Movie 2, so when he's okay. so he doesn't know who any of these people are. Well, he knows who some of them are, but he's not going to understand. the main story. Yeah, he's not going to understand most of it. So next we have Wild Style with um, this new exclusive um, head slash hat, no, like hat slash hair moulding thing. It doesn't really have any hair, but I'm going to call it that. It's I'm like really happy that it's not rubber. Yeah, like a mask. I'm really happy it's not rubber. It's actually a hard plastic, um, which is really nice. It is exclusive to the series. She's got a little crossbar on the back, uh, jewel moulded legs, um, a nice grey telescope and then she has the normal clothes that she has for most of the other sets in this series um so yeah a bit bit basic um nice a little bit of um side leg printing there you can see on that side and um there is none on that side then on this she has a lot of side arm printing and then there she only has a little bit um she has her front facial expression which is a more angry one and the back she has a more cheerful one i'm not sure which is actually the front i might have put it on the one but yeah Callum, overall thoughts on this figure well, judging by all the accessories and everything, I think it's pretty cool. They've given her a certain arrow, a, um, I forgot what the thing called. Yeah, and, yeah, yeah. The, thing on the, back. the leather thing. Um, they've definitely changed her style, which is, I think is pretty cool. Yeah, he still doesn't understand the whole apocalypse thing because he hasn't seen the film. It's quite cool that the um, the glasses and the mask are one thing, so we, so you can't use the glasses. And it's, not, it's, not, and it's not a rubber. I'm so happy it's not a rubber piece and it's a hard plastic. That's so good. Yeah. And, yeah, out I quite ten? like the fact that they... Oh, <laughs> out of ten? I quite like... Uh, probably about... I'll give it a ten. It's a ten out cool. of ten. All right. Ten out of ten from Callum. Um, next up, we have one of my favourites from the series, um, Benny. Now, he would not be my favourite if he didn't have this mechanical arm, because normally, he doesn't have a mechanical arm. He just has a, um, just a normal arm. But in this, he does have a mechanical arm. I believe he does actually have a me mechanical arm in the Metal Beard trike set as well. But, you know, if you're not going to get that, this is a good way to get it up for, any for like, really cheap as well. So, that looks kind of cool. I like that he has the... Oh, God, I dropped him. I like that he has the little toolbox and that it has the space thing printed on the back. That's really cool. I like that. And then um, he obviously has the broken helmet on purpose. Um, I saw some people, um, like my sister included, thinking that I'd broken all my helmets on my Bennies, which is kind of funny. Um, and then I like the first face print, he's really cheerful as Benny. And then on the second face print, he's a little bit sad, which is uncharacteristic for Benny, especially well in both films. Um, he's got obviously the air tanks, with, um, which are the same as they used to be, I believe, from like 1999 when they did Classic Space. And then he has the worn... Um, space logo there so Callum um, what do you think about this figure I think from watching Lego Movie 2 I think he didn't Lego Movie 2. no Lego Movie 1 sorry um, that he um, he did have the side face as well but I didn't know whether in the figures it had it as well on the back I thought yeah, it was just um, one piece yeah I didn't think they had one no. yeah um, they've not changed a lot they've just changed the arm and the suitcase but which yeah. I think is quite cool yeah so I'll give it about a six and a half yeah he's pretty similar and in some yeah. of the sets he doesn't even have the arm 
Uh, next up, we have one of my actual favourite figures from the series, um, the giraffe guy. This guy has the smallest part in the movie ever. That's not really a spoiler, but, you know, it, it, it's sure. But, like, this, I'm not going to spoil anything. No role whatsoever. It's ridiculous. It's but but it's, it's still cool to get them. Um, so he has this ridiculous moulding here, hard plastic again, which is really nice. That's that's just a ridiculous moulding. I love that piece. I, I really want to see people use that to make their own custom giraffes, not suits. That would be really cool. He has uh, dual moulded legs, and the printing all over is amazing. He's got it on the side of his legs, the side of his arms, um, on his torso, on the front of his legs, all over this. I love the printing on that. It's such good quality. Um, he has these nice two stalk pieces, which you're actually only meant to get one of, but some of these figures in this series, they've actually started doing extra pieces, and they gave an extra one of him, so I thought it would look alright for him to be holding it. Um, he has his front facial expression, which is just like a cheesy, happy one. And then you've got a more sincerely happy one, which is quite nice, just to get a bit of variety in most of these figures. Uh, Callum, what do you think about this figure? It's a very detailed piece, as you can see all the patterns. They um, they look very good. And I quite like the hue, so it's not just normal bare fits. So it gives it a bit more showing that it's a giraffe. I also like, also once again, it's very hard plastic. If it was rubber, it wouldn't be as good. Yeah. Um, and I like uh, I've liked how they added the face on his giraffe as well. Yeah. So it's. I like the ears and on the back here how they have like the spinal fur. Yeah. yeah I like that. That's a cool addition. They didn't need to do with it. So I'll moment. give it a nine. Nine out of ten. All right. What I find interesting though is how you like Lucy more than the giraffe. But you know, this is one of my favorites from the series, Golfing President Business. He had, he had a small but kind of funny role in the movie. So he's got his little golf club, the same hairpiece. Um, I believe the face print has been used in uh, previous sets. I don't think the back one has. The back one's, um, I believe, exclusive, but the front one is not. Um, so yeah, he's got them. He's got uh, dual molded arms, which is nice. How he's got them molded in white and yellow, which we don't see dual molded arms that often. And they went with dual molded legs on this figure. Um, which was really nice. They've got lots of side leg printing for good detail. I like the shirt. I like how it's just a brand new design for present business. And I love the new golf club piece. Just a really good figure in general. Callum? Well, I like it. But the only thing that makes it down is it on the sides here. Not the actual arms, but the little bit that they haven't carried around the pattern. Haven't yeah. carried the pattern around yeah. it, which gives it a little bit. But it's still a very detailed and good piece. Like how he still kept his hairstyle. The nice grey bit means he's ageing. And well, you had that in the first one, but yeah. I know, I like, I like how he's kept it. Yeah, yeah. So, yeah. yeah. He's got these nice little patterns on the socks. Yeah, yeah, that was nice. One thing I will say about these figures is some of the plastic quality feels very different. Like, some of it you can tell has been made in different places, because some of them come in bags inside of the packet, like another bag inside of the bag, which I think was really odd, and I didn't expect, but um, I, I, I just wanted to point that out for you guys who haven't bought any of these, but I'm assuming thing. most of you is that if you could see behind the golfing by his on top of his little socks there's like tiny little creases which are quite nice and detailed so they put a lot of effort into the character so i'm gonna have to give it maybe a nine a nine yeah these all these all these all have really good effort i, I think like yeah really good quality series just shows that they're not just popping one module onto it just forget yeah that like with i personally believe with some of the series that aren't like actual minifigure series or, like aren't licensed ones just the normal ones like series 16 they don't have the best effort in put into them i don't really like those ones but this series really did go the extra mile so now we have the crayon figure <laughs> this is a funny one um, I'll take this off quickly and then we'll get to that in a minute. Just a plain torso, which is fine because it's covered up, and then the purple hands. I don't think we get a plain torso in that colour very often. The nice dual moulded legs in the dark purple and the light purple. Um, the face, you've got dual moulded face, one with her eyes closed, which is looking excited, one which is just looking cheerful. It looks like she drew this picture herself, it's not <laughs> the best picture there, but um, it's a cool accessory to get. Now with this, you've got some flower printing on it, it's a really cool mould, again hard plastic, no rubber. There's very few rubber pieces in this series, which, I, which I'm really happy about. So, um, yeah, that's about it's it for the figure. Callum, what do you think? Okay, this one actually beats Lucy over there because it's purple and purple is my favourite colour and it's just, it's quite a cool one. Perfect figure for you. Yeah. Um, I quite like the picture. It could have just been a blank piece of paper, but they put a lot of data and effort into it. Yeah, and how it like deliberately looks bad. That's quite yeah. good. So yeah. I'll give it a... It's better style than Lucy, but I'm going to give it a nine and a half just because it's quite plain. Yeah? Yeah. 
Okay, oops, I'll reset it, doesn't matter. Okay, this one, we're not gonna explain the background of this character because it really does spoil the film for Callum and all the people who haven't seen it yet. But um, this has a record, an original record for everything is awesome. And a nice microphone and accessories, dual molded legs with some bubble side printing there. And then some bubble side printing there. And on the arms again, well, on this arm, this arm is nice. I like how the arms are different. Like this one's a sleeve, this one isn't. Then it's kind of um, pretty plain on the torso. It's got a bit of bubbles, but the torso is not really that exciting. What really is exciting about this figure is the new hairpiece for Lucy. It's like Lucy's old hairpiece, but it's in um, blue and pink, which you'd really understand if you'd seen the movie. You'd get it as a really useful figure. This is one of the figures that does have quite an important role. Almost in the looks film. like a party version of her. Yeah, yeah. So you've got just the normal face print on the back, and then you've got what seems to be a singing face print, cough, cough, um, on the back. Um, not, not trying to spoil anything, but. Um, yeah, she does have an important role nonetheless. Can you want me to rate it? Oh yeah, sorry, I forgot about that. Can um, well, it's a very good piece. Um, I like quite the fact that one arm has got like the sleeve and one arm hasn't, mm -hmm. and on the thing it's got writing on saying what the song is, and I quite like the microphone. In yeah. general, I think it's just a quite cool piece to show. Yeah, I have an idea for this video. If this video hits like. 10 likes we're gonna make callum sing everything's awesome on camera oh really yeah i i wasn't even told about this yeah um this is gonna be a two-part video as well so when we get to scratch and post we'll do the other part as a second half because um it will be quite a long video and i'm sure um so we can just split it up a bit which would be better um and uh yeah so um callum you're gonna sing everything is awesome in another video you you up for that uh if it gets five likes uh, could make it 15 because I generally don't want to see. <laughs> How about we, we go with 7? No, 15. No, because <laughs> I don't want we'll to see. We'll go with 7, guys. And make sure to no, like 15, this video. 15, 15. Shut up, Callum. Make sure to like this video and we're going to have Callum singing Everything is Awesome. It's going to be really funny. We might make him sing some of the songs from the new film as well. How about that? Okay, fine. <laughs> Alright, so next we have the watermelon figure. Um, and he has two watermelon piece accessories. Again, meant to have one, but um, the duplicate from the series. He has uh, dual molded legs in pink and white, and um, with a little bit of green printing there, but not much. Dual molded arms, which is cool, plain green torso. Um, he has this face here, which is alright, and then he has the cool face with the sunglasses on the back, which is a pretty cool face. Um, this piece is a hard plastic again, really big, ridiculous piece. I like the big, ridiculous costumes in this series. Um, yeah, it's just a cool piece in general. It's not dual molded with the green, I don't think. Uh, but it's still a really cool piece. The only downside about this piece is where they printed on the white and it over the pink and it kind of like just went a little bit pinky. So if they dual molded that, it would have been hard, but it would have made it all that bit better. So, Callum. Um, in general, it's a quite plain piece, but the thing that quite annoyed me is that with the little light, lighter pink colour, it goes around the edge. It doesn't do it around the sides, which is a bit irritating. Oh. Yeah, that's interesting, but yeah, yeah. And they both have that. got even amounts of C's on the side, but except for the first one where it gets replaced by the face. Um, yeah. It's nice that she's got two accessories. He. She. No, is it he or she? I think it's a he. Leave in the comments whether it's a he or a she. Callum, don't say what yeah. you think. Leave in the comments. Got to get that viewer interaction, you know. Um, so, out of ten for this figure. I'm going to give it quite a low one just because it's quite a plain piece and it, it, it's, it's, it stands out quite a bit because of the, obviously the melon mask. Yeah. Um, uh, maybe a seven and a half. Seven and a half. Yeah. Okay. It's good. Now comes one of my least favourite figures in the series. Um, this is just, there's a couple of these, they're just really boring to me. Um, dual molded legs with a bit of printed yellow on the front, pink and white. You just got this skirt piece, which has been used quite often. It's still nice to get in these colours. Um, this nice cassette piece is cool, and then you get this with all the other band members in this anyway. I like to get the hair in pink um, with the like little light stripe there. We haven't got that in a while. It's a nice colour design, but I just find this figure generally boring. Um, kind of an odd face there, and then like a winking one on the back. Not the most interesting figure to me. That's why I'm going over it really quickly. It just really doesn't interest me at all. So, Callum. Yeah, I'm asking you. I don't really find it that interesting just because it's more of a girly character. Yeah. Yeah, I just find it boring. Uh, out of ten? Uh, five. Yeah. 
Fair enough, that's, that's a good score. It's got quite a bit of detail. All right, so we've only got two left because I said we we're going to stop before we get to scratch and post. So we have um, the monster here with, um, it's the sea monster. I um, He was in Monster Fighters back in the day. Yeah, you hear Callum say, I remember that. This is like a new <laughs> Apocalypse Burgerified version, but it's still cool. He's got the whip. He's got like the green there, which kind of annoys me how it's the same color as the mask up here, but not as his torso. It's meant to be his feet. That kind of like, that's just weird for me. Uh, got, it's dual mode legs. Most figures in this have dual mode legs. Um, wherever they're needed, I guess, and then a bit of printing on the s on the front there, not on the sides though. No side arm printing. Pretty basic um, torso printing, not the best. He has the helmet. Um, the, the well, I'd say a helmet. It's kind of a hat thing. He's got some really big freaky eyes there when you take it off, and he's got a bit of back head printing, but it's not a f another like alternative face. That wasn't really necessary since it's covered up by this, but still quite nice. This is a hard plastic but it feels like kind of cheaper compared to this. Like I said, like this was probably made in Denmark. This kind of feels like it was made cheaply in China. I'm not sure, I'm just saying it feels kind of cheaper. Um, so yeah, an all right figure. Callum? I, well, I think, wasn't this character in um, the Batman, the Lego Batman movie when he went underwater to go and disarm the mine? And yeah, the, yeah. Bunch of other guys. Easter egg, they throw him in most of the films. Uh, why has he got a whip? Um, for Apocalypse Burger, like, they have to like survive now. Like when you see okay. the film, you understand. It's just a cool. Episode. Um, it's quite a cool character. It's got a nice, quite cool tattoo on the front. It's got very detailed scales on the back. It's got some chains and some like leg, um, shin pads or whatever. Yeah. You're a zero out of ten. Uh, I'm about seven, I think. Okay. Because it's quite. Now we have the last figure we're going to do in this episode. Oof. Um, now, oh, she does have, if you can just show that just there, because I can't get it off, a little record there. Um, I accidentally stuck it down, and I can't get it off without taking off all the figures around, and I can't be asked to do that. So she's got a little bit of printing on the bottom of her feet. It's not dual mold, it's just printed. Plain yellow legs. Um, it's, yeah, it's another one of those girly ones I don't really like. The hair piece is good. That's that's the thing with all the band members. The hair piece is what is useful for it for me. Um, a Hawaiian shirt, the same microphone. This nice cloth piece, which is all right. A um, bit of back torso printing. No, you've got the side printing there. Uh, but not on the arms, nothing on there. Uh, yeah, quite a boring figure for me, but Callum? Yeah, it's quite a boring figure, but I can't help noticing that it looks a bit, bit like Poison Ivy. Just get rid of the pink dye in the front and it, like, get a move her hair a bit, and she might look like a bit like Poison Ivy. I see where you're coming from with that. And yes. I'm guessing she's like a lifeguard and a party. She, she has a party because of the Hawaii and the beach. Can't be surprised. You haven't seen the film yet, but... Yeah, I'm guessing. This is a, yeah. Yeah. Uh, she's got a microphone like the other... Like Sorry. the... um. Yeah. Out of ten. Um four. It's quite a four. yeah, quite a weak figure. I just like yeah. the hairpiece for her, so yeah. Um, that is it for this part. We'll be doing the other ones in the next part, so make sure to make sure to stay tuned to the channel. I've lost my words a bit there, so that um, you can see the rest of these figures reviewed. Anyway, that is all gonna be from us today, so peace out, bye.